today's journey we leave Renbury Heath Moorings and continue under the electrified Renbury Mill lift bridge. We continue on past the Marbury Visitor Moorings and then ascend through Coisey Lock, Willie Moore Lock and Povey's Lock and then traverse the Grindley Brook Locks. Finishing up, we're topping up with water and then on to the moorings at Whitchurch. We're underway again, second day on the Clangothman. Today's plan is to get through to Renbury and then from Renbury on to Whitchurch. And uh, I've got the others behind me, uh, Ian in Narrowboat uh, Morning Star, sorry. Narrowboat Tales is channel, of course. And Simon and Tracy in Home Free uh, behind Ian. So it's a white overcast cloudy day today but otherwise it's quite pleasant. Hardly any wind thank god. So it should be a reasonably enough cruise. Well we're just approaching Rembury Mill and I seem to have picked up three birds. <laughs> Very noisy, they, all, they all want to know how to operate the electric bridge, so Chris is going to show them. <laughs> Renbury Bridge was built by Thomas Telford in 1790. It's a single span timber bridge with a wooden platform of planks laid between timber beams and spans the river at river level of the bank. This is hinged at its northern edge and raised and lowered by a counterbalancing beam weight which is supported by two posts of square sections on the northern bank which carries two horizontal beams with chains to their southern end connecting with the platform of the bridge and a weight to their northern end. Iron tension rods run from the vertical beams to the ends of the horizontal beams and the bridge has a C20 mechanical crank to raise and lower the bridge. Recently the bridge received a £150,000 upgrade to make improvements for the bridge. Even though the, the canal was constructed over 200 years ago, Renbury Lift Bridge has been working ever since. Manual swing arm barriers which stop the traffic during boat crossing replaced with automated drop arm barriers and a new waterside safety fencing has been erected and a new bridge control pedestal installed on the towpath side will make it much easier and safer for boaters to raise and lower the bridge. Due to the amount of traffic using Chumston Road, the bridge can only be operated between 9.30am and 3.30pm. Restrictions either side of that will disable the automatic lifting mechanisms. A maximum of three boats are allowed to pass under the bridge at any one time to avoid long queues of traffic building up on the road. I think the caravan's rather bent. And we're in our first lock of the day. This is Marbury Lock. Uh, first of about three or four before we get to Grindley Brook but uh, the advantage of traveling in company of course is we've got the lovely ladies to help us up through the lock. Now it's interesting that when we got to Swanley and Baddeley locks there was no lock name signs on the locks and uh, now we see why it looks like uh, CNRT are putting new lock name signs up at all the locks along here. Still not sure I like the blue I think I preferred the white.
here we are the start of day three on the clan gossip absolutely gorgeous morning this morning t-shirt weather already and it's only nine o'clock ian's just gone up into coisy lock this is our first lock of the day and then we've got the grindley brook flight of locks to deal with and then it's a short hop to Whitchurch and some shopping. But just look at this weather. Absolutely stunning. Slight correction. <laughs> it isn't Coisy Lock, it's Povey's Lock. My bad. But there you go. Ian's already gone up, he's heading off to Grindley. We're coming up in this one and there's two behind us. Well, it's another glorious <laughs> morning. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. We're heading towards Grindley Brook at the moment. And Smudge has just seen another <laughs> dog, so poor Chris is straining at the loose with him. Come and, on, uh, you. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. come through the impressive blue brick bridge at Grindley Brook and it's unusual because it's a bit like a skew bridge the bricks that make the bridge are actually diagonally across the canal because that's the way the, the bridge is now waiting our turn to go up the staircase Ian is already in the staircase and Simon's next just in front of us and then of course it's our turn so uh, turning out to be a really pleasant day today. It's quite a quaint little uh, wharf office there, which is now a bookstore and gift shop. And uh, it's quite pretty there. I just realized, apologies guys, I just realized I'm zoomed in, there you go. So Simon's in the first lock of three. There he is. <laughs> Two locks ahead of him with uh, Ian in the middle lock. And then there's one more lock and then the oh, staircase at the top. Yeah. Two more locks ahead of uh, Simon. Ian's in the middle lock of the three. And uh, once Ian's clear of this lock, we can come into it and follow them up. Well, there's a bumper crop of cooking apples. I bet that'll make a pie or two. So this is lock two of the first three uh, there's one more just around the corner to our left simon's just disappearing around there he's waiting for a boat to come down uh, he's hovering in the pound i'm going to stay put until simon can get in the lock and then i'm going to pull forward to let the other boats are coming down into this lock so we're now clear of the bottom lock and we're just holding station in the pound above it. Simon goes up the lock in front of me. I'm staying well back to keep out of the way of the biowash. So we'll just hold here now until the lock's ready for us. In the third lock of the three, and uh, just ahead of us is a pound and round to the right is the three lock staircase. Ian is already up through the locks. Simon is just starting to ascend and once we clear this lock, we'll follow them as usual. So, going well so far. Now, it's quite a big turn on this one. Just uh, empty in the bottom lock. Philip, that's Chris just telling me she's empty in the bottom stair of the staircase. So I'm just gonna hold back for a little bit longer and then the lock will be ready for me. Now the first of the staircase lock chambers. 
in order to ascend the staircase locks the chamber above us and the chamber above that need to be pulled so the water in the lock above us is now being drained down to our pound uh, chamber and then we'll use the water from the top chamber to fill the next one and then we use the water from the canal to fill the top chamber I think I should nip in the coffee shop and get a coffee it's quite nice sat out there in the sun 